got Mr. Man settled. He followed me to the platform again. I heard the garage door beep funny. Please don't let Ruby's side be given Don problems. Good morning. Good morning. These guys are all doing good. Hey, Morris. Good morning, Morris. Good morning. We're going to be close to beating the record high today with 70-something. It's going to be a warm one. I think there's a chance of rain, so I don't know how super sunny it's going to be. Good morning, Dusty. I'm sorry I gotta go for now. You be good boy, okay? I'll be back. I'm behind, but in a good mood. It's shopping day. Hi. Hello, bud. Hi. He's like, what is that noise, Mom? Good morning, Ruby. It's plenty cloudy out here this morning, about 55 degrees. I don't think we're gonna see too much sun today. Traffic's moving along. We're not super late. We could be earlier. Well, St. Ogg's is holding their convocation this morning. Normally that would mean the stage and a bunch of chairs over here on the left by the flags, but I don't see that set up. Johnny's thinking maybe it's virtual. Not sure. He was hoping for that though. There's a small chance of, you know, rain this morning or this, you know, today, but not, not much and not a lot, but maybe they decided not to set up outside because of it. Johnny's middle of the day classes canceled because of it but he has a project to work on an AP stats and art class this afternoon so he's here doing what he's supposed to do well I've stretched I've said hey to Don I've peeked at the news and I'm fixing to head back home so I can stay on time today to meet Michelle and we can get our walk in uh, it should be quite pleasant out there this morning Don and I both, neither one of us are feeling any effects from wearing the weight vest yesterday. So no sore leg muscles or whatever shoulder or back or whatever we were feeling right at the end of the workout after we took the vests off, it went away within a few minutes. So it's all good. But I'm trying to decide if I want to put it on this morning or not before I shop. Is shopping day an excuse not to wear it? <laughs> Well, the intent was never to wear it on every walk, but um, we'll see. I have, I'm undecided at this point. I probably bet Don would need too much convincing to skip today. And I know Damari wants to do a hit, so he's not going to wear it. But maybe Saturday get back on it. I'll think about it. See how motivated I am when I get to the house. So Don had on, uh, like he does most days, Tesla Daily and Solving the Money Problem last night. And I was hearing a little bit of the chatter about the 420 funding secure tweet court case stuff going on. And, um, you know, it worries me a little bit. I don't understand. I guess I didn't hear what the potential penalties could be in the case, but it does worry me a bit. Uh, it makes me feel protective for Elon. That's just, you know, uh, my 10 second take is it, it just makes me feel protective. Um, I kind of thought he was reasonable in asking to have the court case um, locations changed due to the jury pool. I'm sure um, the jury selection is going to be a long protracted process. Um, and I totally, I totally get that in this point. I guess I told Don last night to sum it up that um, I don't think he should be punished for the tweet in any way. And um, funding secured, I think, is the complicated part of the tweet. Not I'm thinking about taking Tesla private. I mean, he has a right to think about that, right? He didn't say he was taking it private. And... Uh, the funding secured part, I figure 
If Elon goes out to his friends and says, I need money to take Tesla private, I have no doubt that he can have that money, you know, he at the time, because of course Tesla's worth more now, but at the time that he could have gone to his friends, gotten the money and took taken Tesla private. Um, so to me, whether there was a actual 100% determined funding secured entity or it was just the I know I've got funding secured. I don't care which way it was. I still think he's good. And I don't have a lot of, um, I guess I don't have a lot of sympathy for anybody that went out and bought or sold quickly based on that tweet and then wants to bellyache about how, <laughs> how they did or didn't do in the market. Um, so I don't know. I would, I, you know, I would like to see it thrown out. I would like to see nothing come of it. And, um, and really, basically, because I don't think he did anything that he should be penalized for. And I also feel for him on saying that he accepted, you know, that SEC ruling, thinking that he really didn't have a choice at the time because of what he needed to do for Tesla was more important than what he needed to do to protect himself. And, um... So I'm not I'm not happy I'm not happy with that either but we'll see I'm sure it will be like I said um, but it's gonna you know this is gonna be ongoing for quite some time we're not gonna know anything out of it anytime soon would be my would be my guess but maybe I'm wrong on that yeah and I guess one other point that came to mind is that. Um, there are so many other people out there that have made comments about Tesla or outright lies about Tesla or spread a disinformation campaign or said things that I 100% believe negatively affected the stock and nobody even looks at penalizing those other people. Um, I understand they're not uh, Tesla employees, not the CEO, not really associated with the company, but if the SEC's job is really to protect stockholders, um, they're not doing a good job uh, for me with what stocks I own, at least, would be my opinion. And so, unless they're going to get serious about really protecting the stock, I'm not too interested in them targeting the only person that they can easily target. Um, so, and I don't want Elon to be more quiet. I just, you know, he could use the stand to keep his mouth shut a time or two and not say a couple of the things he's said, but I, I accept that that's part of who he is. And is this a lightning coming through? No, nope, it's a GMC. You know, a lot of the cars have those fang, the pickup trucks have those fang looking headlights, so it's not always a 100% done deal if you're not standing in front looking because the, the lightnings do look different. But so, anyway, I don't, uh, you know, the law being fair is not um, singling out one person and trying to hold them to the letter of the law and then letting all the other people. Um, get away with stuff. It needs to be fair for everyone. Always a lot of traffic there to wait. A lot of people cut through this road that's back behind the church here and these businesses to the right, but I've tried it a few times and it's like, nah, I'm just not that Shaving that 10 to 20 seconds off is just not, not joy for me. You know what I want to be privy to? The conversations that go on between Elon and his mom and the conversations that go on between Elon and his brother. Um, surely a time or two when he's done something, they've been supportive, but also give him a little bit of a talking to about how to, you know, conduct himself somewhat. I know his mom on Twitter, she's super supportive always as best as I can tell. But you know behind the scenes she's probably, well, you know, Elon you've got yourself into a mess this time. I'm sure she said something a time or two. There's no way uh, a mother could have kept quiet on all of those things, right? And I don't want to know what was said to, to 
uh, use it against them. I'm just genuinely curious about what, what might have transpired there. I see a uh, Fuquay Marina police officer up here on the left with the speeder pulled over. I saw one on the way out of town this morning, and that's a little early to be pulling speeders. And then there was one back a ways just two or three minutes ago, and now this. So I take it they're out today paying attention. Not that that would affect me much since I'm not usually doing things to get myself in trouble, but still. Hey. We've got them on. I talked in a video about, oh, I don't know, I hemmed and hauled a little bit. <laughs> but it's pretty mild at like 57 degrees, so yeah. these probably would be a little hard to wear if you needed to, um, if you really needed to uh, bundle up. You know, I don't know that I'd be wanting to fight a 30 mile per hour gust on a 40 degree day and have this on. But it does provide a little bit of warmth with what we're wearing today, which was not super heavy. He's been idling for 30 minutes because he was there when I came through and he's still there. Yeah. I, yeah, mm, bite my lip. Uh, I'd probably put a coat over this. I'd over. Put... Well, that's a good way to think about it. I hadn't considered that. Yeah, I, I, but yeah, I think I've got jackets that would go over it just fine, but yeah. not under it would be too bulky. I'd have to adjust my straps. It would be a pain. We're on our third and last lap around the track and doing good. I'm kind of devastated though. Michelle just texted that uh, she can't make it this morning after all. One of the kids is sick. Not, not seriously, but needs to go to the pediatrician and... Um, She's handling that this morning. So it'll just be me at Guardian Angel. I could drag you along. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, actually, I don't want him in there because it's like, oh my God, that costs a dollar. That's right. <laughs> the last thing I need is Don and Guardian Angel, like ever. Only if I want to buy something expensive and he gets me the senior discount. You guys won't be able to see them, but the mama and papa bluebird just went in and out of the box over there. I'm so excited. Well, it's getting time to be thinking about which box because in February they'll be building nests and we aren't far from then. But I absolutely saw it was bluebirds. How exciting. Oh, there he goes. He's back on top of the box. Yeah, I think that's the darker blue. I think that's him. But anyway, I saw two of them. I'm sure it's the pair checking it out. Nobody else came over to visit. Just Tux. Hey, bud. <laughs> he definitely likes his scratches and rubs and love. I swear he'd let me sit here for an hour and do this before he'd walk away. I'm still headed to Guardian Angel, but since I'm not meeting Michelle, I probably can afford to have just a few more minutes at the house before I leave. Hi. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. It's 1045, so I, you know, spend about an extra 15 minutes at the house um, checking my email, releasing today's video, looking for my blood work results which were not on LabCorp or Dr. Eckberg's patient portal website and uh, sending the folks at LMNT, the salt electrolyte people, an email saying I want to be able to buy a box of just chocolate mint and oh by the way how about shipping a cinnamon pumpkin spice before next fall. <laughs> Some of the flavors are made to be um, consumed hot and probably in coffee. That's how they're advertised. So, um, I really like the chocolate mint, but it comes with chocolate and chocolate caramel also. And those are okay. But I, you know, my favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. So the only reason why I don't try to make that at home, um, you've never seen me try to do that is because Johnny doesn't like mint. 
And really, in order to get chocolate to taste sweet enough, you've got to add more stuff to it than I'm probably willing to add. But um, the stevia that LMNT uses in their chocolate mint flavor, um, I find it quite tasty. I've always liked salt, so salty stuff is not a concern for me. A lot of people will drink half a packet, and I'm like, I'm good with a packet. Matter of fact, I told Don, I said, if I leave Guardian Angel and I feel tired and I want some coffee, I'm going to go through Starbucks and request a coffee and cream. Probably be half and half, which makes me unhappy, but I could live with it for one cup. And um, I'll just, I've got a pair of scissors in the car now that I can cut open the Elementi packet and get a stir stick and life will be good. saw this car parked in town on my way back through this morning and now it's following me in this direction. I got a pretty good crowd today. I'm sorry I've got to carry the shopping part of the weekly vlog segment by myself. It's so much better when Michelle is with me but I'll try. I still enjoy shopping and I still enjoy showing you guys stuff. It's just, you know, it's like with Dawn, it's just better with two. They have a few to select from, but out in the woods at the base of a tree, I think this one's bright enough that it would show up. I'm going to get this one. I would have guessed 79, but 81. I love old album art. Michelle would certainly approve of making reservations for dinner and I think she'll like this towel. It kind of looks like a skeleton. There are several UV sanitizing things for your phone and the electronics cart today. Not getting, but interesting that they're starting to show up here. It's too big and I'm not sure what it is, but it's got atomic cats on it. I like that pattern. Oh, and on the back too, the cute kitties. I found the weekly pink find, but it's a little too worn that out. That is like the perfect St. Patrick's Day shirt ever, but it's an extra large and it's just too big for Don. And it's been starched and everything, he would have liked it. It's the typical lunchtime crowd here in Fuquay. It's a mess getting through town. Oh, it used to be such a sleepy little town. I remember Fuquay before there was a Walmart and a Kohl's. <laughs> I got out of, uh, well I went into Little Angel and the By the Pound shop and um, I was finished and loaded up at 1245 so I'm going to stop in and see Miss J who's still recovering from breaking her hip. She's on my way and she's been after me to stop and say hello and meet her kitties and um you know visit for a while also some of our help I think this week may have not been able to help anymore after a certain date so I need to make sure she's got somebody bringing her groceries and and stuff so anyway that's what's up next it's 72 here now I should have brought a short sleeve shirt with me to Guardian Angel or bought one in there <laughs> I've got the air conditioning on in the car not on high or anything, but enough to, you know, spread a little cool air in. Uh, Miss J didn't come to the door. I'm not sure why. Um, she certainly had wanted me to stop in. So I'm thinking she probably didn't hear me even though I rang the doorbell twice. I couldn't tell if the doorbell rang or not. You know, it's my first time to her door. So I messaged her. Um, and she is fairly responsive to her messages, but not on like a teenager would be. So, um, I'll try again another day. I hate it. I missed her. Especially when I had, you know, some time. So, I'm going to go to Starbucks and get a coffee and cream and add my LMNT to it. Enjoy, use the restroom, use, get a cup of, enjoy a cup of coffee and work my way downtown because um, it's an hour and 10 minutes till I need to pick up Johnny and my arrival is, yeah, 
21 minutes without any stops. So I've got a little extra time on my hands. It's okay. Well, this Starbucks here in Garner did have heavy whipping cream today. So that was excellent. And um, these LMNT um, pouches, they don't have a tear strip. So you have to use um, scissors to cut it open. So let me show you what I got to carry in Ruby. It's just an Amazon special, but it is stainless steel. Don was kind of impressed. You uh, open it up and you have you a nice pair of scissors. It's got a box cutter in here too. Um, I just threw this whole box in the car in the glove box. I don't have much in my glove box. But anyway, I thought they were just adorably cute. And, you know, obviously it's got other multi, it's a multi-tool thing. But I bought it because I wanted... A pair of scissors where the blade wasn't, you know, out all the time and I could just open it up and if I carry these little packets in my purse, I can, you know, open it up in Ruby and, you know, had heavy whipping cream. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy my coffee now. Okay, note to self, um, I really don't like Starbucks coffee. <laughs> I don't really like, as you remember, black coffee at all. The Starbucks coffee is pretty strong, and that's not my jam. Um, so the Elementi packet that normally would do great things for my coffee at the house didn't do great things for the Starbucks coffee. And <laughs> I got coffee on a little bit of stuff. I didn't mean to. Taking the lid off was pretty messy in the car. And... <laughs> The little green plastic stir stick that they stuck in the tiny hole at the top wasn't what I was expecting. I just assumed they had those um, wooden ones. Now look, I have no idea which one is really better for the environment. I just know the wooden ones are the ones that are portrayed as being better for the environment. And they're long. So I just assumed I'd be able to stir all of the goodness that I dumped in there from the packet up really well like I do at home. Because at home I use a slotted spoon or I use the frother or I at least use a teaspoon and I stir it really good and it dissolves. So I got to the bottom of my coffee because, you know, I would have basically have had to have stuck my fingers into the grande size coffee uh in order to uh to stir that properly which i did not do even though i had just been to the restroom and washed my hands but i did not put my fingers in my coffee so all of the stuff was down at the bottom because i couldn't stir it properly so i guess next time i would have to get a straw and stick it in my coffee to try to do that and i don't know what coffee to ask for that would be uh, that would that i would have been happy with you know, anything sort of a grande size Java chip frappuccino extra whipping cream is probably not, you know, going to make me happy at Starbucks. But I don't do that anymore. So I was trying to have an alternate that would, that would, that would work out for me. Anyway, the coffee wasn't that good and I'm disappointed. I was headed to the oncologist tomorrow morning with Dawn. We had been on the calendar since November sometime um, to get my regular six month, now seven month, going on eight month blood work drawn. And I did have most of the blood work drawn at my other doctor sometime in what, October or November one time when I went in for something else um, and everything came back normal. So it's I haven't had the cancer antigen done for eight months, but I've had all of the other, the, the blood work that would show if I was fighting an infection or had other early warning signs. So, and the cancer antigen, although I've been getting it since my treatment for 10 years, we've got a record of what, it's kind of like the um, prostate number. You know, you just basically want to know if it changes significantly, but that test is not is not 100% reliable. So the, the doctor, she still does it, but she, you know, she knows that it's not foolproof. Anyway, um, all I'm trying to tell you is that my doctor is sick. And I mean, she's really sick. She, she's been fighting um, breast cancer herself the last year and a half. And so they had to reschedule it again. And now it's next Wednesday at one. So Don won't be able to go with me. And I'll, you know, I'll drive myself up there, which is, you know, it's not the end of the world or anything, but 
I like for Don to come up with me. It gets us out someplace for a little drive together and he's been there the whole time through all of the stuff. And you might remember last week I had to make an appointment to get this mole re removed on March the 1st or something. And that's at a time where, again, Don can't come with me because he's gonna have to pick up Johnny from school for me. And you know, the me I'm just the medical system sucks when you want your support person there with you, and they can't be because the amount of opportunities for scheduling appointments is so small that you can't you can't work it out. So the lady that called, she was told to get me in within seven to ten days, no matter what. And when that wasn't working out, I just took an appointment that wasn't really good for me. Whereas tomorrow morning's appointment was great. I was looking forward to hanging out with Don a little extra, taking a drive that I didn't have to drive myself someplace, you know, uh, getting the blood work out of the, out of the way and hopefully going for another, you know, six or seven months without having to worry about it. And it just prolongs stuff out. Um, so I'm just sharing the, the medical system is frustrating me the last week or so. Um, you know, the eye ophthalmologist, it all worked out great, and I really did like that practice and stuff, but like so many dentist offices, he's only there uh, four days a week, and the other three days, if you have an emergency, you've got to go another route. So, it's just, um, post-COVID, things are not as good as they were pre-COVID in many areas, and especially in including the medical, the medical area, but... I'm just sharing how I was feeling. I, I believe my doctor was legitimately sick and that, um, you know, she had to, you know, didn't want to cancel my appointment, but had to cancel my appointment. And I'm under, I'm understanding while frustrated that it wasn't good for me at the same time. I didn't become a bad customer on the phone or anything. I just shared that I was, you know, in this tone of voice that I was kind of frustrated and a little sad about having to, you know, reschedule. I don't like change on a normal day, so <laughs> I just wasn't happy about it. Is it parking itself or is he parking it? I don't know if you can see it or not, but it was, uh, I think it was a black Model Y backing into a parallel parking space. Hello, Midnight Silver Metallic Model X. It was a 75D. They got stopped at the light. You're making all my cameras go off every five seconds. <laughs> I snoozed it. <laughs> you working on a project? Uh, I just pedaled around. The, I got something in from Amazon, so I took care of that. Ah, oh, okay. That bed real quick, but uh, I'm, I'm done now. Cool. So I guess I need to go back and get to work. Aw. He walked over to see, greet me when I come out of the garage, and you know I just can't. I just can't ignore the tucks. Well, or the Marty, or the Stripe. Morris doesn't usually ask for attention, but if he walks near me, I try to pet his little head too. But, you know, tucks would be... You can just stay here with me for a while. <laughs> Our boy's got some thinning hair back there. I um, he, It was like that last winter too. I don't know what caused it. I mean, yeah, maybe mom was a little aggressive back there. He just lost extra hair, or, but it filled back in nice once spring come around. So I don't know. I don't think it's anything serious, but I had noticed a little. It's like that on both sides, although one side is worse than the other. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Itchy boy, you. Is it okay that he's come in to visit for a few minutes? Can you deal with it? Actually, she deals with it better than Big Boy does than Midnight. Um, yeah, Stripes in, and he really likes the food <laughs> that Midnight and uh, Nighttime get. I tried to offer you some, and you didn't want it. You were so fussy about him being in the house. Here, let me offer it to you again. I've got a chicken for the kitties in the Instant Pot, and um, I was going to work on my building for a bit.
got up to step 193, you'll see uh, I've added the ladder and another wheel of paper and some gadgets and gauges and a few more stacks for newspapers, but I need the newspaper bricks. And I'm starting on this side entrance over here. So I've actually, for the building that's going to be red, well, I guess there's some tiles here, but I've put on the first dark red bricks. <laughs> I might be back to do some more, but I am stopping to have a little snack with Don before Taekwondo. He just uh, went out to get the mail.